Got to do some laundry. Testing out my new camera too. It's uh, kind of a um, pretty nice little camera. It's, uh, I forget what it's called. downtown here through the middle of the pandemic. It's November 27th, I think. Maybe it's November 28th. I'm not sure. quiet as you might expect during the height of a pandemic the truck has been running a little rough lately uh, just on cold mornings it's either something to do with the air intake or something to do with the fuel intake I think pretty sure once it warms up it runs fine uh, but uh, early on uh, it's uh, just when I first started it, it idles rough and I try to drive it it lacks power and it sputters it's 2000 Dodge Ram 5.9 liter engine 1500 pickup so um, if any of you all out there happen to know what the problem is and have any great ideas let me know I already replaced the air intake control valve and that didn't seem to solve the problem so I'm kind of at a loss what to do right now I've talked to my usual mechanic Eddie Trujillo ET's auto repair down uh, right off Siler Road and Eddie said he wasn't sure from from what I described to him said he'd have to uh, drive it or check it out you know uh, while it's cold to see what uh, what's causing it I'm gonna have to probably go leave my truck with him for a day or two for him to figure it out. I'm not sure I want to do that. I mean, I might just wait until it gets worse, or I don't know. I might keep hoping I'll be able to find a solution to the problem on my own.
to my favorite spot here. Get out and walk around a little bit. Exclusive low rider parking, two hour limit. Let's get a mask on here. All right, let's take a little walk. See the sign? Exclusive low rider parking, two hour limit. My truck isn't exactly a low rider, but I figure I qualify because I have the Pachuco spirit. funny you know when I'm not recording I think of all these things that I want to say in my next recording session and then when I'm recording I never remember what it was I wanted to talk about I'm gonna have to start writing this stuff down I guess and going down the list for you guys but uh, ooh, that's unpleasant uh, someone's dog shit on the sidewalk Historic Palace of the Governors, kind of a beautiful little view right now, this time of day with the sun coming in. I don't know what to say, man. I uh, using my new camera right now. At the Video quality is poor, but it's uh, great for surreptitious recording in public. People get weird when you know that you're recording. They don't behave normally. And I like to capture that, that normal behavior. The only way to do it is, you know, to kind of film them surreptitiously. They, the minute they know they're being filmed, they change their behavior. Here's where the monument used to be. This is all decorated up. Some people put some Christmas cards up here. What's left to the monument is all sealed up. Hello. I've noticed that during, you know, this pandemic, it's changed people's behavior really radically, the way they behave in public. Um, very common to say hello to somebody and they don't reply or people just will pass each other without saying a word to each other which I mean I guess that's pretty normal in big cities or whatever but uh, and it's not you know I mean I guess it's not that abnormal in Santa Fe either but uh, You 
would certainly certainly expect a reply if you say hello to someone generally when you're passing by them. At least uh, for them to tip their head or acknowledge you in some way. And uh, it just doesn't always happen. way the merchants and the restaurateurs whine, you would think that uh, you would think that they'd all be boarded up, all these businesses by now, but uh, they have enough liquidity to withstand this kind of a disaster. I love this rock. Uh, there was a big fiasco when they installed it because the city was charged a lot of money for it and uh, mostly went to this one artist who obtained the rock in Colorado and hauled it to Santa Fe to display here. It is a beautiful rock, I'll admit. Uh, but uh, Anyway, the, the bill to the city was outrageous and there was some questions about how the contract got awarded and why and to whom and who was responsible for it. Let's continue forward. mall is all closed up. And there's El Centro shops and galleries over there. That's where Swenson's used to be. When I was a little kid, we used to love to go there and get ice cream. Mostly what I, I want to do is tell you guys more stories about my childhood uh, growing up in this area. For instance, one of my first jobs 
well, you can't really call it a job. I contracted with the Santa Fe New Mexican newspaper. I was a paper boy, and uh, but I didn't have a delivery route. I didn't have a delivery route. Instead, I stood in the middle of the street right here, right where those joggers are. I stood right there and sold newspapers to the stream of cars that came around this corner. And, uh, and that came from the other direction, from, from that direction over there. I stood right here and sold newspapers. And, uh, and I was done selling my newspapers. I went over there to Swenson's and I get myself a big mocha, mocha chocolate ice cream cone on a classic cone with a dipped in, dipped in uh, nuts and chocolate. Basically a gigantic drumstick or Rocky Road ice cream. And then usually I'd go up to the plaza up there to eat my cone. Must have been about 11, I guess, 11 or 12. There's the historic La Fonda on my right. Somebody up there on the balcony on his phone. Must be a uh, a resident of the hotel, probably. Sounds like he's testing some kind of electronics with somebody or something. Pretty sure this is where the store char used to be, or maybe it was that one next to it. And that was, uh, I think they sold like leather goods. A friend of my mom's worked there for years. That camera shop's been there forever. I thought they would fold a long time ago. You don't see a lot of camera shops around anymore. But it's still there, I think, unless it's closed. Let's go take a look at it. Cathedral over there. French pastry shop, which had many incarnations before that, but it is what it is now. Oh look, the camera shop is shut down. Finally, they closed it. I guess it must have been the pandemic that was the straw that broke the camel's back. It is gone.
yeah, this camera, like I was saying earlier, the video quality is poor, but it's really convenient and easy to use. It'd be great for uh, a dash cam even. Batteries last really long. It's got a lot of memory. 32 gigs, I think. Which is enough to, you know, record anywhere from four to eight hours, which is all I really need to do in a general, I mean, most people aren't gonna drive for much longer than four to eight hours. And, got a Wi-Fi connection it connects to my phone which I don't often use but it's kind of cool I guess we could try it out right now and see what it's doing let's see let's cross the street first and we'll open up the app let's see here if I can find it Hello. Cool bike.
cool purse. See what I mean? Like a lot of people are just weird, like like they're just afraid to even speak, it seems like. Noticeably absent are police officers. Instead, there's a security guard on the plaza, which is awfully strange. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Allied Universal. Interesting. What I really love about this camera, as I always know, as long as I have it on, it's recording everything I see when I, when I have it clipped to my chest like this. I mean, almost. Everything that's in front of me, basically.
super convenient. Great place to rent some skis if you're in downtown Santa Fe. Pick up a t-shirt while you're here. This place used to have really, really good chili and uh, back in the 80s and then I don't know when they sold it but the new owners changed the menu and it's not nearly as good as it used to be I have silver away.